Hello my beautiful friend, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bettina and I'm the makeup enthusiast. In today's video I'm doing my first update on my hashtag roulette pan collab project panning challenge. This project pan is a collaboration. I will leave a link down below to the playlist um, or you can click the hashtag and it will take you over to where all the videos are listed. The premise of this project pan is I have a spreadsheet of 100 prompts. I pick a number at random and then I need to find a product in my collection that matches that prompt. Now I am using this project to get progress and pull and pull products out of my collection that I don't normally use or that I haven't touched for a while. Um, so I'm using this project to get use out of the products in my collection. The products that I did pull out last month. I have reached a number of goals on them so I will be rolling them out and rolling in some new products this month. But without further ado, let's jump on in and see how I went with my products this month in this project. So the first one that I pulled out was the number eight and that is a product you always save for that special occasion or which might come in handy one day. So I picked out for that one my Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer and my goal for this one was to use it 20 times and I have used this a total of 15 times times but uh it doesn't look like I've even touched this so my my hope was with 20 uses that I would wear the imprint down on the pan which I am starting to do a little bit but I don't think that's going to happen within 20 uses so I will continue to use this one up I have another five uses on this one to go before I can roll it out but I think I might maybe consider rollings over again for maybe another 10 to 20 uses but we'll see how we are at the next update and I'll let you know then. The next one was number 15 a product with a food or drink in the name and for that one I picked the Too Faced Melted Matte Hot Buttered Rum Hot Buttered Rum Liquid Lipstick and I've used this twice. I'm wearing it today which is my second use and I have worn it previously. My goal was to use this one 10 times so I still have another eight uses on this one so we'll Keep this one in the project for now. The next one is a product from a brand that is only available in your country. And for that one, I chose the Australis Metallics Eyeshadow in Gold Gaga. And I wanted to use this one a total of 10 times and I've made it to six so far. And I've actually hit pan on this product. This product is quite easy to hit pan on because it is quite a... Uh, smooth creamy formula so I did hit pan on it pretty easily but I haven't really used all that much of it so I think with my next four uses on this one I'm going to try and like make um the edges where it looks like I've basically just pushed it out of the way I'm going to try and level them out a little bit with my next four uses um, and then I think once I do that I still have hit pan I still consider this as a hitting pan win um, I'm probably going to roll this one out um, once I reach that 10 uses. I am actually wearing it on my eyes today. I think it looks really, really pretty. I think it leaves a really nice, pretty shimmer on the eyes. Um, I have been really enjoying this product, but I think for now, once I get to the 10 uses, I'll probably just roll it out. So we'll see if we reach 10 by the next update. I only need to use it another four times to get to the 10 uses. The next one is a product in your collection that doesn't get enough love. And for that one, I picked the Urban Decay Naked One palette. And I was focusing on the color Naked. And then halfway through the month, I decided to start focusing on the color Buck. And I wanted to use Naked 10 times, which I did. And I managed to also use Buck seven times. So that's these two here. I don't think you're going to be able to, that's these two. I don't know if you're going to be able to see, you can see a little bit in there. Um, and you can see that they are starting to lower a little bit. I've decided I'm going to keep this one in the project and I would really like to hit pan on these. So I'm going to, dare I say it, I think I'm going to keep this one in this project until I hit pan on those two shadows, which I don't think, uh, like even just off 10 uses, I've got a pretty decent dip in both of them. Well, 10 and 7. Even off that, I've got a pretty decent dip in both of them. So I think I'm going to keep this in the project until I hit pan on those two shades. Uh, so fingers crossed that happens pretty quickly because I do have other palettes in my pan that palette series and whatnot so I don't want to take away from that too much but I still want to see some pan on some more eyeshadows this year so I'm going to keep that one in the project for now. The next one is an item that makes you feel nostalgic, fond memories or something from your past and for this one 
I chose the Makeup Geek eyeshadow in Beaches and Cream and I wanted to use this one 10 times. I managed to get 11 uses out of this one and guess what guys? I have some pretty decent pan in this eyeshadow. I am so proud of myself. So I'm definitely going to roll this one out. I'm so impressed that I managed to hit pan on this eyeshadow. It already had a pretty decent dip in it so I did think that I was going to hit pan on it. I just didn't realize that it was only going to take me 11 uses to get pan and pretty decent pan. So very happy with that. I'm going to roll this one out and we will replace that one with something else. And then the last one that I started with is a product you've never heard anyone talk about. And for that one, I chose the Innisfree Auto Eyebrow Pencil. And I wanted to use this one 10 times and I managed to do that. And I have barely made a dint on this one. This still has... This still has... A huge amount of product in it so I've decided that I'm going to roll this one out just purely because I have another eyebrow product in my team project pan video um, in my team project pan project and this one's just taking away too much from that and I think to see any really considerable progress on this one I'm going to have to use it for a lot more than 10 uses and I just don't want to take away from the other product the other brow product that I have in my other project. I'm going to call this one a success. I'm going to call it that I have reached my goal of 10 uses and I'm going to roll that one out. Okay, so I've hit my goal on two of my products in this project pan. So I'm going to roll two new ones in. Let me bring up my pretty random app um, and I need one, two, 100. Okay, and we are randomizing. So the first one we have is 85. And then the second one is number 80. So let me just yellow 85 and then number 80. So number 80 is a product that was passed on to you from a friend or family. And number 85 is a product that was an impulse buy. So I'm going to pop these two items back in my collection and I'm going to find a product that fits both of those prompts and I'll be back in a second. Now I didn't want to include any more lip products in any of my projects but that was like all I could find to follow the prompts in this project. So I have two new lip products coming into the project which I don't know how this is going to go but the first one was a product that was passed on to you from a family or friend. Um, so I chose the Color Theory lip gloss in, I don't know what this is called, but one of my friends purchased like a set of these lip glosses and she tried one of them and didn't really like the formula of them. So she passed them on to me. So we'll see how we go with this one. I think maybe I want to try and use this one, maybe 20 uses out of this one and we'll see where we are after that. But I think I've set a usage goal of 20 on that one. And then the next one is a product that was an impulse buy. And that is the Fenty Fussy Lip Gloss Mini. Now, the impulse buy part of this was the mini lip gloss set that I got at Christmas time. It came with this one as well as I think it was four other colors. So I grabbed out the color Fussy because the whole set was an impulse buy. But I think this is the one that I could probably definitely pair more with everyday lip products that I have in other projects. So for this one, uh, for this one, I think I'm going to aim for uh, 20 uses. I think I'm going to go for 20 uses. We'll see how we're going progress wise. And then maybe I might uh, roll it over again for another round of uses. So I'm going to go with 20 uses on both of these. So we've got another two lip products in my projects across the board. I've got so many lip products going on at the moment, but we'll see how we go. Um, so I've reached my goal on two products so far, rolled two more in, and then we're getting really close with a number of the other products in this project. So we'll see how we go at the next update, see if there's going to be any more rollovers, um, any more roll in, roll outs. I really hope there are because I like seeing, um, like progress. I like seeing a lot of rollovers, um, rolling products in and out to keep me motivated so keeping things fresh in my project pans um, help keep me motivated so we'll see how we go with this one next update i have completed two prompts so far so we only have 98 left to go <laughs> That is my first update on my Roulette Project Pan collab let me know down in the comments box how you're going on your Project Pan products 
And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy watching my Project Pan updates. Also, if you're new around here and you love watching Project Pans, you love keeping motivated to use up products that are already in your collection, I hope you would consider subscribing down below. That's it for this video, everyone. I hope you are having a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.